You brought up Republicans. I'm going to now question a Republican, and I appreciate you being here, as I do any Republican. But you're from Florida. You mentioned Florida. And Florida uh, just basically not lets black people vote. Uh, <laughs> in Florida... <laughs> And I said that, and, and you're out of Congress. I mean, I'm not, I'm not uh, trying to insult you, but you got caught with some of the booger sugar. I mean... <laughs> That's one way to put it? I right. Think, yeah, you, yeah. And uh, look, I'm a, certainly a libertarian sure. on drugs. You know, I think whatever you like... You yeah. Have, you uh, have that so, shit now? Uh, so, you know, yes, I... Uh, I uh, made a really terrible, terrible, terrible decision. All right, terrible all point in right. life. Right, I did okay, it. All right. Okay. Move on. All right. You don't have to do that for me. <laughs> but, uh, I, well, look. You know, I, uh, <laughs> our audience is okay with the booger sugar. All right. But, or a really but anyway, fun decision. But, but you, a really fun, but fun I think fun what decision. people objected to. <laughs> <laughs> or you had a great night. <laughs> First rule of Fight Club. Yeah, don't I mean, buy cocaine from a right, federal agent. Okay, right. <laughs> I'm just saying. And... and, and Who's kidding who? Drugs are popular for a reason. They're fun. Okay. <laughs> uh, but uh, you did... Oh, you, boy. <laughs> Here we go. You did vote for a drug testing... Did I? Food tell, stamp... Tell, tell, tell me what I voted Food for. stamp recipient. Did I? Oh, boy. Well, I, that's what I read in every newspaper. That's what the headline said. So, okay. a real quick explanation on that. Okay. I would uh, have never, ever, ever taken a vote, a standalone vote, to drug test food stamp recipients. What I okay. voted on oh, was, was a massive okay. a farm right. bill, Again. and within it was a provision that was put in but, by both Democrats but, and Republicans. Look, I would have never voted on it. Right. I was vocal against but, the war on drugs. But Florida sure. don't like black people. I mean... <laughs> uh, come on, that, Wait. Felons there yep. can vote. In Florida, 31% of otherwise eligible black men are permanently disenfranchised. Jesse Jackson calls it taxation without representation. I think that's accurate. He, that's a third, almost. He's, he's, of... he's absolutely right. And, and, and by the way, uh, with regard to black people voting in Florida, talk to Catherine Harris. I mean, we had an election stolen. Right. Catherine Harris and Jeb Bush knocked 90,000 African Americans off the poll. Jeb polls. Bush, who was a pot dealer in college, his daughter did cocaine. I don't know if he does cocaine, but he certainly served <laughs> Florida to his brother on a silver platter. <laughs> Uh, from the way he's be debating, I think he's on lewds, but... Yeah. <laughs> now, that's Ben Carson. <laughs> but but I, I'm in favor of the Vermont solution, the, you know, the Bernie Sanders Vermont solution. In Vermont, you can vote from your jail cell. Right. Felons and you are still a citizen of wow. the United States. Right. I think another thing that's important to point out is that you have a lot of things that are considered felonies that maybe shouldn't be. In California, last election, you had folks from both sides of the aisle, Newt Gingrich and Jay-Z, agreeing on a bill, uh, agreeing on a proposition that passed with 60% of the vote, I think, to change a lot of nonviolent felonies into misdemeanors. It wound up letting a lot of people out of jail, and it means that for the rest of your life, you don't have to check that box that says that you're a felon. Yeah. You don't have that label attached to you for committing a crime where you didn't hurt anyone else. I mean, but, but shouldn't that change in Florida? Yes, look, this is all part of the, the, the decades ago, the bipartisan war on drugs, where we're locking up nonviolent offenders and disproportionately affecting minority communities throughout the country. There has to be criminal justice reform. And that's where the libertarians... And look, and, and you, you said that Republicans are all evil on this, but you watched that debate and you said it was boring. The one thing that was new in that episode was Rand yep. Paul had a really great moment where when yes. he was asked about what happened in Ferguson, sure. and he came out, I mean, he's one of those candidates that the Trump tornado has sort of pushed aside. He had an opportunity to shine last night with this answer that I think... I love that we're actually referring to it as an episode. Yeah. <laughs> I was going along with what you said. Yeah. 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 Don't tell me how it ends. I taped it. But there is one giant, there is one giant <laughs> caveat in this yes. whole Can I say one thing about the voter sir. restriction thing? Like... To me, this is one of the craziest issues in America. Like, the idea that we don't let people vote, the idea that, like, you have to show ID even though you were born in our country. Like, my grandfathers fought in World War II, like, to not let this happen. And that one party, the Republicans, oh. would be beyond, behind this is, like, amazing. But the, but the Roberts Court has ruled that racism is an urban myth. That's true. Doesn't Problem exist solved. Anymore. That's true. Right. Problem solved. Yeah. But it's crazy to me. Like, that we're well, even talking about this is, like, insane. All right. You know? Let's talk about something else, then. Um, <laughs> here, 
But well, we have, yes, sir. If I could, just with regard to criminal justice reform, before we, yeah, beware of Republicans talking about criminal justice reform, because it's now coming out that there's a couple of very large, very wealthy billionaire industrialists who are pushing a criminal justice reform pro proposition that includes drug reform, but it also includes making it much, much harder to prosecute white-collar criminals. Okay. So here's my...